After a Russian attack, the largest market in Eastern Europe is on fire. The Barabashovo market is located in most densely populated area of Kharkiv. In recent days, the regional center in eastern Ukraine has been under constant shelling. The ash from the large-scale fire at the market has already spread all over the city. A huge thick layer of smoke has formed. The fire has already spread to nearby private homes. It is already known that while fighting the fire, one employee of the state emergency service died. Another was injured. The Russian invaders continue their terror against the civilian population in Kharkiv region, in particular against the heads of territorial communities. Сьогодні до нас прийшло повідомлення, що вони викрали свого робочого безпосереднього кабінета. Віктора Миколаївича Терещенка голову Великобурлуцької територіальної громади. A Ukrainian civil servant was kidnapped right from his workplace. Now the state of health of the hostage is unknown. More than 200 civilians have died in Chernihiv since beginning of the war. It is a regional center in northern Ukraine. People are buried in trenches and near the closed cemetery, which is already full. It is impossible to bury the civilians in the existing central cemetery because it is located on the outskirts of the city where active battles are taking place. Invaders have been shelling the city more and more intensively in recent days. Russian troops are attacking residential areas, schools, universities, pumping stations and other civilian objects. The Russian Federation is bringing the city to the brink of a humanitarian catastrophe. According to the city mayor Vladislav Atroshenko, Chernihiv is in the third place in terms of destruction after Mariupol and Kharkiv. 80-90% of the city of Mariupol has been destroyed. The big city in southern Ukraine paid a heavy price for its close location to the Russian border. There is not a single building left there without damage. All the factories are out of operation. Russian troops are committing genocide. There is a humanitarian disaster in the city. People are dying of hunger and dehydration. As of March the 13th, there were at least 2,358 dead civilians in Mariupol. However, local authorities suggest that the number is actually close to 20,000. It is impossible to count exactly because many people are under the rubble and nothing is known about them. Bodies are buried in mass graves in the city gardens in the yards of houses. The Russian invaders do not allow any people to enter active cemeteries. By the time of the blockade, up to 400,000 people remained in Mariupol. Of these, 3,000 were babies. Getting out of the city was practically impossible. Humanitarian corridors do not work properly. Those who try to leave are being shot. As of the 22nd day of the war, only 30,000 people have evacuated from Mariupol. Meanwhile, the little Ukrainian has become the star of Time magazine. Five-year-old Valeria from Krivirich is one of more than a million Ukrainian children who were forced to leave home in order to survive. The girl, together with her mother, were evacuated to Poland. And now Valeria is on the interactive cover of American publication. The video was created by French artist J.R. He staged a real performance in Lviv, the western regional center of Ukraine, where it is safer now. About 100 people joined the art project. The girl's mother, Taisia, says her daughter loves the same things as all children do. Her little teddy bunny doll Elsa and a pink backpack, which she had to leave when running away from Russian invaders. She also has a big dream of going to school for the first time on September the 1st. Russia attacks not only physically. It has been waging an information war against the world and peace for a long time. Зона свободной торговли с Европой – это прямая сдача страны, ее разорение. В подгузниках 44 человека, небритых, пьяных, с тем же самыми шевронами. Every day millions of people listen to and read the outright lies of Russian journalists about Nazis in Ukraine, bloodthirsty Europe and envious America. Самый неэффективный альянс, который можно себе только представить. Putin's propagandist stage fake news stories defacing the main rule of journalism, honesty. Это первая из нашей страны колонна с гуманитарной помощью мирному населению Украины. Ребята, как будто надо, блядь, пожрать от оккупантов. 
Since the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the amount of Russian propaganda has grown to 90% worldwide. The aim of Kremlin mouthpieces is to spread panic, justify the war and undermine the world's attitude to Ukraine. The worst thing is that while the whole civilized world refuses to cooperate with Russia, Russian media are still broadcasting in Europe. The world must know the truth. It has only one interpretation. And Russian TV channels show the opposite. Особый интерес вызвала детальная информация о реализации США на территории Украины проекта по изучению переноса патогенов дикими птицами. Turn off Russian propaganda. Say no to fakes and war.